Hello everyone, this is Colin from Fiber Optics for Sale. In this video, I will explain what is WDM. WDM stands for Wavelength Division Multiplexing. WDM is the most important and the most popular method to increase the capacity of a single strand of fiber. As we all have learned from elementary school science, a white light beam can be separated into individual colored light beams by a prism, as shown in this picture. Vice versa, Individual colored light beams can also be combined into a single white light beam by the prism, that is, if we use the prism in the reverse direction. WDM uses this same idea. Traditionally, only one colored light was used on a single strand of fiber to carry the information, such as 1550 nanometer light. However, starting from the early 1990s, the internet boom pushed service providers to find a method to increase the capacity on their network in the most economical way. That is when WDM devices were invented. As shown in the right side picture, in a WDM system, many different colored lights are combined by a WDM multiplexing device and put into a single strand of fiber. Each color is called a channel. On the receiving side, each color is separated into its own channel by a WDM demultiplexing device. It shows that a single fiber's capacity is increased by 40 times with the 40-channel WDM. The beauty of WDM is that you only need to upgrade the end equipment, no need to dig up trenches to bury more fibers, which is much more costly. So how are WDM devices made? This picture shows a three-channel WDM device based on thin film filters. Thin film filters are a piece of flat surface glass with optical coatings on it. The optical coatings are designed to pass and reflect certain colored lights. This is a demultiplexing WDM device, which means that it separates combined colored lights from a single fiber into separate individual fibers. But if used in the reverse direction, it can also combine different colored lights from individual fibers into a single fiber. As shown, three colored lights, which are 1510 nm, 1530 nm, and 1570 nm, come from a single strand of fiber, one. The green lens collimates the light so it won't diverge into a large, uncontrolled beam. Filter one is designed to pass 1530 nm and 1510 nm, but reflect 1570 nm. So when the light hits filter one, 1570 nm is reflected and refocused into fiber 2 by the green lens. Now the light has 1530 nm and 1510 nm in it, and it keeps going until it hits filter 2. Filter 2 is designed to pass 1510 nm but reflect 1530 nm. So 1510 nm light passes and is focused into fiber 3 by the second green lens. On the other hand, 1530 nm light is reflected by filter 2, passes filter 1 again, and is focused into fiber 4 by the first green lens. Why isn't 1530 nm focused into fiber 2? That is because the filters have a thickness, so there is an offset on the vertical direction. We just talked about 3-channel WDM device. Thin film filter-based WDMs can be cascaded together to get higher channel counts, such as 4, 8, 16, 32 channels. The right side picture shows the 8 channel WDM device. The left picture shows how it's made by cascading several WDMs together. In addition to thin film filter based WDMs, there are also fused fiber based WDMs, arrayed waveguide grating based WDMs, interleaver based WDMs, etc. They use different mechanisms to separate the colored lights. So there you have it. Please don't forget to visit foforsale.com for more free fiber optic tutorials. I will see you in the next video.